Yes, yes, yes. I return. JJ, the Claymore Minotaur, back again with some more Demon Souls content. Right now we're taking on the Tower Knight. Um, I held some else to it initially because um, it was like one or two shot in me. Um, so I can level up, you know what I'm trying to say. And I came back with all the smoke. And from what I've seen, what we have here is a big guy, big shield. He's got a, a really long lance. Um, you can completely remove the lance from the picture, more or less, if you just stay behind, man. Obviously, because this shit is cheap. There's guys trying to snipe you from above, but you can kind of take them out of the game by keeping it moving. Every once in a while, they get a lucky shot on you, but um, if you stay on your toes, it shouldn't be doing too much damage. And speaking of staying on your toes, if you stay behind and relatively close to the Tower Knight, there's not really too much you can do to you, as soon as you see. Um, the attacks range from various shield attacks and shield slams. Uh, there's a few stomps. I think he jumps back as well. Uh, a couple of them have uh, AOE properties. So like that, for example. You need to be aware of that, so you have to go in, get a few hits in, and retreat because it's more or less inevitable that if it's not a stomp, it's going to be an AOE attack. So make sure you get out of there, get your hits in, attack the heals, and eventually you'll see it soon. I'm not sure how soon, but if you keep attacking, man, he will fall over. And that is when you can attack the head for some decent damage. And it will be shown much later when it happens again that if you are within the range of his shield in particular, I'm guessing there's a hitbox on his body as well. But uh, you can actually be hit by the fall, which does, you know, decent damage. And you probably noticed that I'm. Um, going for the physical attacks here instead of the magic even though I did come with a magic build um, that is because I think this guy's got kind of a high resistance to magic it's either that or it takes kind of long to get the shots off so you're, you're better off for the DPS for the damage in quick succession to just run up and hit him really so you just keep doing that I think that little jump back as well um, can hit you uh, so you have to be uh, very careful with that if you see what happens there where you begin to get penned into a corner just you know move out of the corner control the spacing um, getting back out into the more open area of the arena so allow him to walk you down and then as soon as he gets into a favorable position for you you counter by just running in between the legs, avoiding those attacks, hopefully a bit better than I was doing there, and just continuing your strategy of avoiding the AoE attacks, um, completely removing that lance from the game. See, right there I got hit uh, because I was in the, the area of danger. But again, you just hit the head. I'm not sure what happened there. If that was the body or if that was the uh, archers sniping you from above but yeah you keep doing that make sure you create enough space that if you get hit uh, you can heal up and then get right back up in there you're good to go you are good to go and then that's it right there tower knight defeated jj the claymore minotaur and i'm out